Hi, my name is Isabel Udo and I would like to introduce you to the new physics block I created with which you can actually make these nice organic movements and let me show you how to do it. One thing that is very important when working with these types of physics in Sparky R Studio is to zero out the rotational values of every bone. So here we are in uh, Sparky R Studio. I have the horns and the earring in place. What I'm gonna do right now is instantiate the block and then connect all the bones to have a really easy way of creating the physics. Inside here there are some inputs that I'm gonna connect right away. The head rotation, the swing physics and the directional flow. Drag this um, block inside of the patch editor and now you can select all the bones and organize them in the patch editor so you can connect them to the outputs of the block. In our case, we have two antennas, so I'm going to connect two of those joint chains to the block. So we connected all the joints, but still nothing is working. And that is because we have to use these little values. So we have the directional flow values in the swing physics. It's for example, value of five. And it already moves a little bit, but maybe maybe 10 is nicer. So we have a little bit more movement. Okay. I already prepared this file so that you can see that there is a little flower at the end. A really easy way of doing that is literally just dragging a 3D object in the hierarchy. So if you want to create an earring, um, there's an extra checkbox that you can click. And this makes sure that the earring will always hang uh, downwards. I hope you enjoyed this little video and my explanation on how to use the physics block. I'm looking forward to see what you're all building with it.